Hey y'all, this is Mac here with the Wise By Guy. It has been several months since I've made a video. Life was just crazy busy and uh, I've got some awesome gear to show you. Uh, Black Friday and my wife. Christmas was a great combination in my house. So uh, today I wanted to go ahead and I wanted to make a video going over a new Warrior Poet knife. Um, if you guys caught one of my last videos where I talked about the Fox folder. You guys know I'm a fan of John Lovell and what they do at the Warrior Poet Society. In fact, my wife got me awesome swag. I got a belt. I got some other gear that I'll be making some reviews on in the coming weeks. But today, I wanted to talk about their folding crambit or crombit. I'm not really sure how to say this. This is actually the second crambit that I have ever actually owned. I've been playing with it for a couple of days. Already got a little uh, poke on the finger. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this knife and I'll let you guys know what I think. Again, this is the Warrior Poet Folding Crambit Knife. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so today we're looking at the Warrior Poet Folding Crambit Pocket Knife. When I first saw this come out around I think it was a little bit before Christmas time. I was like, ooh, that looks shiny and pokey. And I wanted to check it out. So my wife was amazing, went ahead and picked one up for me. So I wanted to talk about their Fox folder, which uh, if you guys are familiar with my channel, I made a video about this pocket knife uh, several months ago. Really love this pocket knife. And I saw some similarities between the Fox folder and the Crambit. I might be saying that wrong uh, again. This is a, a new knife for me. Um, we'll actually get into the new knife, but this knife is also made by Fox Knives um, for Warrior Poet Society. I have seen Crambit style knives before. It's never really been a knife that I have carried. Um, the one Crambit style pocket knife I have, I have had this thing for decades. I have never once used it. Um, but from what I understood, most Crambit style pocket knives had a kind of a, a tiger claw, if you will. Um, and I was intrigued by the Warrior Poet where it has more that Tonto style blade, which is almost identical to the Fox Folder. In fact, if I hold these knives together and let's see if I can line them up on the video camera, there we go. They are almost the same knife blade. Um, I did a little research and I do know that Fox Knives does make a slightly curved blade, a little bit more like your traditional style Crambit. Um, but enough of this one because I never used it. It didn't have a great ability to flip out or catch on the pocket. The one thing that I found fascinating with this knife is they have, they call it the Emerson Wave and it's this patented little wave shape here that when you're carrying this knife in your pocket and you pull up on the finger ring, this would catch on your pant pocket and it would pull the knife blade out. So as you draw the knife blade, it actually um, is ready to go and party from the draw. That was one of the drawbacks with the Fox folder. So um, just quick recap for those that weren't familiar with the Fox Folder um, by Warrior Poet. One of the great things with this particular knife is both the fact that it is a folder. So in certain states, <coughs> California, looking at you, a folding knife like this is going to be legal. Um, it has a awesome action that is super fun. It has a, I'm sure this has a f actual name, but it has a little button um, for the lock. It had a um, additional security lock, uh, reversible pocket clip, G10 scales for the handles, and it was a great knife. The one drawback with any folder is, especially a folder like this, is on the draw, you still have to open the knife and then go ahead and grab it. Um, this knife, that is a pretty easy to learn knife because it, you simply put it in your hands and you would punch. Very little training needed. If you know how to throw a punch and you know how to grab, then you would be able to use this knife. Um, but the one drawback, because it's not a fixed blade, is the time it takes to open and get a grip. Haha, <laughs> that's a joke, get a grip. 
Oh boy. So this knife, on the other hand, because of this little Emerson wave, was supposed to be a little bit easier um, and less time in some of the videos I watched on actually getting the knife out and open from the draw. Now, some quick facts about this knife for those nerds out there. I do have my Milwaukee tape measure from, let's see, woo, from tip to ring. This knife is about, I'm gonna call that like seven and a half inches. The blade component is, let's call that, I'm gonna say a smidge over two and a half, maybe like two and, uh, yeah, we'll call it just a little over two and a half, almost two and three quarters. Let's call it two and three quarters, just, uh, just to be safe. When it is folded, it is a um, linear lock. When it is folded, uh, again, it's about five and, yeah, it's about five inches or so um, folded. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at how this knife uh, would actually deploy. And I'll give you guys some thoughts and some of my feedback on this particular knife. So let's go ahead and transition. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this knife. Also to continue to show off the swag, got an awesome little uh, Warrior Poet belt. Um, their belt, I've actually done a review on these belts, are the, uh, the Ratchet belts made by uh, Next Belt. I know some of you guys, there's some other brands you like, but uh, again, I am a Warrior Poet fanboy, so I like the belt. Probably won't do a review on that, but just for giggles, there you go. So let's go ahead and look at this Crambit. So a couple reasons that I, I bought this. First, I was curious on playing with it with the deploy. So let me get my Fox folder here, and let me just show you. So when we're looking at knives and concealability, the folder has no kind of outline that screams this is a different type of pocket knife. Uh, it just has a normal clip. You would pull it out, go ahead, hit that open, get a good grip on it, and you could go ahead and go to town. Uh, they have a great funny video with John going Fruit Ninja. It was hilarious. That is the folder. Now, the Crambit has this little finger ring. So the deal with this knife is on the draw, as you pull up on the knife, you need to catch the Emerson wave, which is this little part here on the top, on the part of your pants, and almost pull out to the side for the knife. Let's see if I can get this on camera. There we go, to lock into place. And then you can go ahead and get a reverse grip. Um, I've seen videos where guys are like spinning them around. I'm not gonna do that because I'm not yet gripped this knife. You can also get a front grip. Now for me, just the regular grip with the finger ring is actually a little uncomfortable on my knuckles, but the knife is big enough here that I can actually get all of my fingers in the blade. And again, it's a little tight. If it was just maybe a smidge bigger, it might work just a little bit better, but no complaints for me there. It's a it's a comfortable grip. It's got a nice, the Emerson Wave actually acts as a like a thumb rest there. And then I had wondered what this little piece was, and it's for your uh, pointer finger to, if you're stabbing into something hard, to not slip up into the blade. I had initially thought that it might be something where you could, you know, go ahead and hit it and it would open, but you can see, um, yeah, that's, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Now, I will say I can whip the knife out, hit that, and then I can flick it and it will open like so, but um, I don't think that's what it's designed for. I think it is the uh, the finger rest for a, a front grip. So here's my one problem with the Crambit. I first, I, I like it. I like the fact that I can kind of grab and pull, but as you can see, I'm still learning how to pull out properly. Um, I would imagine that over time, this catching on my pants is actually going to wear out my, my pants and my shorts. So um, I, I don't know that this would be something that you'd want to fidget with all day. But let's see if I can get this right. There we go. So that one locked. The one before did not. So here's the thing with this particular style knife. The Warrior Poet motto, train hard, train smart, is going to need to be 
implemented with this knife blade. This is not a knife that you can just purchase and be proficient in the same way a knife like the Fox Folder, where you can be proficient in it almost immediately. This knife is gonna take a little bit of plane where you can actually, every time, pull it out and make sure that it locks into place. I'm about 80% of the time where I can go ahead and I can draw and it will lock into place all the way. About 20% of the time, I just miss the pocket because I pull up instead of up and out. And even then, it's not actually locked. There we go. Um, because it has a reversible pocket clip, so we can see here, we got three little holes, three little holes. You can totally just switch that over. Um, you could do this on you know, left side. Um, I've also seen videos of guys where they're putting it kind of here in their pants, which I actually think would be a great spot. Um, and then drawing out from the shorts, seen some where they put like a little band around the knife where they can actually catch it coming out. Again, not proficient with it. So I do like this knife, but you need to train with the knife. So let me go ahead and we'll do one more transition. Okay, so um, here's kind of my, my closing thoughts with this knife. Um, so I have done a little bit of research uh, online because I know this knife is being made by um, Fox, Fox Knives. Um, and again, they've got the Warrior Poet emblem just in case you missed it. Fantastic little swag. They have, I believe, last I looked on their website, they had like three or four different types of knives. Um, this one with the cool, the red inlining, I think it was like 150 bucks. So um, I have an awesome wife. What can I say? So here's the one thing that I wish um, they had made is a training knife. I do know when I looked, and I actually have it here online, except that is the wrong page. I'll put a link down below. But they did have um, trainers of Fox knives making Crambit style trainers. However, the blade on the trainer was more like this curved shape, not the Tonto blade shape. So that would be about the one thing that I think would be really helpful um, unless you just go buy that trainer and don't worry about the blade. Um, I do like if I have a, a knife that requires training. I do like having as close to the thing that I'm running as my training tool. So I'd have to kind of look at their trainer again. But I think if this is a knife style that you're familiar with um, or that you've spent some time training with, it would be a fantastic addition to maybe a, an EDC. Um, I know I, I carry the folder all the time if I can become proficient with this, I may, well, I'll be carrying both. But uh, I do like the fact that this one with that ring could be carried, you know, a appendix style, kind of just sticking out. And I would probably, if I was carrying a firearm, I'd probably carry this on my left side. Complications with that is I'm going to have to learn how to draw left-handed. I'm a righty, not a lefty. So more training required um, for pulling non-dominant side. Um... I don't know, again, how well it would if I was like carrying it in like a four o'clock position going to pull. I've seen some videos where guys are like pulling these out of their back pockets fairly proficiently. So I think if you're willing to invest in the training um, and maybe pick up one of the uh, Fox Folder Crambit trainers, this would be a fantastic knife. Um, the one thing that I did not care for the knife, it little pet peeve, I know, but this Emerson Wave part here when it's writing in my pocket in the the back of my pocket so pocket set on this side here if I put my hands in my pocket my fingers are constantly getting jacked on that wave piece so I think it would be more ideal if it could be worn slightly more to the front of your pocket which I think would also help with that draw coming out um, you might have to go less sideways and more straight out um, but again, the, the design of my pants, all the other stuff I have in my pants, like my keys, that kind of thing, I could see that very easily getting hooked on this Emerson wave. So 
but that's how the knife deploys. Um, so you either just need to know that and get over it, or maybe that's one of the deal breakers for you is like, ooh, it's going to be hitting my hand when I put it in my pocket. The other thing that I kind of wish was on here, um, and that would be the, the lock feature that is on the folder. So this knife, once it's open and deployed, um, again, I'm sure this linear lock is going to work just fine, but I do like having redundancies. Some argue it's another thing to break. I get that to each their own. Um, you do you. But I think having something on here that would maybe more permanently lock that in um, to where it could almost function as a fixed blade would be nice. Those are my only two little nitpicks. Um, again, it, it's, a, it's a pricier knife, uh, around the same price, I believe, as the Fox Folder was, around that 150 range. You can get a model cheaper. I think it was around like a hundred and thirty dollar range. If you don't want, you know, the cool red and black. Um, I liked the red and black because it's pretty. There we go. Um, I did have a couple of YouTube videos that I will link on guys that actually seem to know what they're doing with this kind of a knife blade. So again, I am not a knife fighting expert. That was one of the draws for the Fox folder is uh, it's pretty simple. You know how to throw a, front, a punch. You can utilize this knife. This one, um, as warrior poet John Lovell would say, train hard, train smart. Um, because you will, again, slice and dice yourselves if you don't put in the time to practice with this knife and you attempt to use it in an emergency situation or you just attempt to use it at all. Again, I sliced a little part of my finger First day, probably two hours into getting the knife because I was trying to flip it around and uh, I shouldn't have been doing that. So speaking of flipping it around, last point, and this is a huge pro, this knife is fun, y'all. This little finger ring is like the best little fidget spinner. And even as I'm spinning it, I think that even the knife not out, this would make a decent self-defense weapon. Just holding it like this and whacking somebody Ouch, that would hurt. So, again, a little bit different style, Crombit, about seven inches, almost the exact same blade as the Fox Folder. It's pretty, it's comfortable. Again, the, the reverse grip, the downward grip, whatever you all want to call that, is, is comfortable. Um, I know some folks, if your hand doesn't fit on here well, I could see maybe these finger grooves being a little uncomfortable so perhaps if it had just been all flushed maybe but for this grip it works really really well I mean those finger grooves as my fingers go here and wrap in that's incredibly comfortable it feels sturdy in my hand it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere um, again here unless my finger is in the ring that feels good the ring feels good um, I don't know that I'm just going to go start punching things with this um, yet. So maybe if they came out with a um, replica for training, that would be bomb diggity. Otherwise, I will put some links down below of what I think is a close enough replica for those who are interested in buying a trainer um, to go ahead and check it out. So hopefully this review of the Warrior Poet Folding Crambit was helpful to you and whether or not you choose to buy it, may you shop wisely. Have a great night, y'all.